Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at maximizing the damage within the Dream Realm. Now this, of course, is going to be very dependent on the heroes that you do have. So I'm gonna go through the best teams that I do have or the best team that I can run within the Dream Realm. Now, one thing to note is when you're going into the Resonating Hall, this is very important based on the team that you're going to be utilizing because of course you're gonna have some heroes that are significantly higher level, some that are lower. And again, big point out to this over on YouTube, uh, this was actually dropped in the comment section. When you're coming in here, the resonance or the hands of resonance, we are going to swap the heroes out. Now, of course, looking at the slots, we have 110 across the board, except Smokey is only at 100. So again, we're gonna be swapping out some of these heroes to get the primary team. Now, of course, within Skyclops, we are going to be using Smokey in there which we know is the current one that we have right up here, which is the, the Skyclops. It's not a Cyclops, but the Skyclops is what we're gonna be using. So looking at the resonating hand or the resonating hull again, we're gonna go ahead and swap these heroes out. Now, of course, Smokey, I'm gonna keep them at 100 right now because I want the damage dealers in here to really maximize. So we're gonna looking looking at building out um. Corinne is going to be the first one, which is actually right here. If you click on them, it really goes and it shows exactly what the hero is. So overall at 110, we almost have him up to another level. As you can see with the little red accents on here, just like we have the white accents on here, that is where he is built out to a certain level. So we're looking to add him. I'm going to keep Odie in here. Cecilia, she is one that is not very effective in this team at all. So kind of looking at it, I, I tried a couple different formations, a couple different ways. Unfortunately, she is not very effective in this game mode. So I'm gonna put Kruger in here. Now Kruger, I have to make sure is built up a little bit because he has to survive. That is something that is very important within this game mode. So we got Corinne, we have Odie, which of course Odie is used for a lot. We have Kruger in here, we have Smokey. The last one we are gonna put in here is Merrily, which is actually right here. Again, Merrily, we've been building out quite a bit. Now, if you look, at these heroes specifically. So we have right here, we have a warrior. Uh, we have Kruger, which is a warrior. We have a marksman. We have a marksman again. So we're focusing here on marksman and we're focusing on warriors. And then of course down here, we have our support hero, which means we can hit up our equipment and see if we can build some stuff up. Now, normally I don't recommend using this. And again, I know a lot of this will probably be replaced in the future, but you can see we can gain seven levels here for 77 of these. Now making sure that we're focusing on, and I'm hoping that we can get a little bit higher, because remember, we have two of our heroes that are based on this. We gotta keep them and have them survive. Now I've been recycling and I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm stuck. And the reason for that is not having enough essence. I cannot stress how absolutely important it is to build and have essence in here. Um, we're actually to the point where we're completely out of essence again. That is why the last hero we can't get to 110. Now we've also, built them out to the point where not only do we have enough experience to level them up, but again, we don't possess the essence to level them up, which is just gonna be a game, really just chasing the rabbit the whole entire time. Now in here, you can see we have 85 to 105, a 20 level deficiency in here. This is gonna be huge when it comes to the gear. And of course, one of the biggest things within AFK Journey that I love, probably one of my absolute top tier things, that I do absolutely love within this game is the ability to swap heroes around with very, I mean, short of the level, you don't have to worry about the gear, you don't have to go for the swaps in there. So again, we're gonna hop in this dream realm. Now I'm gonna try this a couple different ways. Now, of course we want Smokey to heal. We have range damage right on this side and then I'm gonna drop her out. We're gonna put Corinne in here. So Corinne and uh, Kruger, we have going up at the physical damage and then we have Smokey. Now, I don't know if Smokey is gonna make a big difference in this formation, exactly where he is. Again, getting the gear built up a little bit further, getting the heroes built up a little bit further really does make a big difference in pushing the envelope with the damage that we have in here. Now, of course, we want Smokey to ult. That is going to increase the tile radius right here, which means now we have Kruger and now we have Corinne who are both in there, which is exactly how we wanna have them built. Now you'll also notice in here that Merrily actually dies out pretty quick. It is because we only have her built up at a very low level. Once we start getting her a little bit further, you'll see that she will survive a lot more. And I'm thinking getting again, swapping some of these heroes out gonna make a big difference. And also getting that gear because we've only maxed, I think 70 is as far as we had. I don't even know if we've hit 70 in its entirety, but you can see some of the shielding aspect and the, the, they're doing a lot more damage in here 
just based on the progression. Now, Kruger goes down right there, and I'm also kind of wondering, so Corinne's still up. See, we hit 76, might be able to get a little bit better. And I'm wondering, with Smokey being a little bit higher, if Smokey can take some of the damage, the boom, 76 right here, didn't push to 80, but that's okay because we still have four more chances in here to actually build these out. Now, Smokey, I know we could possibly put up front. And of course, we could change this up with a couple different um, artifacts as well. That is the main reason why I go through here and I actually um, build this out a little bit different or the multiple attempts that you have in here. You want to be, again, pushing this envelope all the time. And there is also an RNG factor when you take an extended amount of damage or critical hit, which might make a big difference exactly how the ads are taken. If we do some critical hits on the ads, again, gonna make a really big difference in this game mode. But you'll notice that having Smokey up front, that we actually have the ability to heal everybody and Smokey is taking the damage right now. And of course, we wanted Smokey to take the damage because Kruger and Corinne are actually not taking the damage just because of where they are positioned within here. So you can see even here, um, Smokey's taking a pretty decent amount of damage. Looks like he might even die right here with this ult, oh, which he did. I was hoping he wouldn't, but look at that, guys. We broke that 80 mark, which is very, very cool to see. We got a little bit higher. And again, depending on the game mode, depending where you are, so that gives us another chest, which is gonna yield us some additional gear. Additional gear is gonna allow us to push it a little bit further. And honestly, at this point of the game, big thing, of course, right here, we have a plus 30, not really worried about that one. We'll go plus 30 within our tank. Is this part of the game, it is really about the hero builds. So if we can get a couple more copies in here, even looking here, a few more on Corinne, getting a couple right here with uh, Merrily, we can actually build them up a little bit further, taking them from Epic to Epic Plus and taking them, ultimately getting additional skills are gonna be the biggest difference within this game itself when it comes to leading and really having not only the levels, but being able to do the damage in this game mode. And again, Dream Realm, I feel like we're pretty close. Maybe a couple more tweaks within here we'll be able to go through here and actually finish out this level. Now, in addition, we're gonna come in here. I'm not sure if we have the ability to actually do any summons. We've been doing summons on a regular basis because right here we don't have enough to actually summon. And here we have six scrolls. So again, we're saving diamonds to get that copy of Vela. And then the Epic Recruitment, we do have four of these. Eight more to go for a hero. So maybe we can pick up this hero right now or Thorin. We are looking for both of them right now. Um, which of course, Shakir, and then we're looking for Thorin. But who else do we have in here? So no, 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 no. See these other ones. See, we could do an Igor in here, but I'm thinking of building out, building out Cecilia first. But yeah, let, let's go ahead and see guys. Four more, could it be our epic summons or our legendary summons in here? And I love how this looks guys. It is so very, very cool. So that is probably just gonna be an acorn. Let's see, can we get another acorn? So we're closer. Is that gonna make us go the full time with another acorn right there? In the last one, fingers crossed, could it be an actual summon that we want? It is just a blue. So again, this is gonna be a couple more acorns. It's not gonna be the one acorn. Um, I believe this gives us four acorns, but we are four away. So we're literally that close. Um, that I know it's guaranteed in 30, but you don't always have to go the 30, but we are now. And here we do have six. Uh, 45 more to go, which of course we cannot use those in here. So let's go ahead and use these. And I know we can supplement them with diamonds, but overall, I just want to see if by chance we can get lucky with one of these summons and maybe get a copy of a hero that we need in here. There we go. There's a copy of Leica. Again, not super impressed with Leica. Um, does do well in a few different game modes. There is Mauler Acorns. Skip the animation quite a few times, which we have. And then there are light bearers. So that gives us 30. That's a lot of acorns. So we used all of our scrolls. Again, we have 800 summons here. Now we are saving those summons for the ability to actually go in the Emporium and then get out our Stargazer cards out of here. Our, our Stargazer orbs are exactly what we're looking for out of here. So once we get the reset, we hopefully have enough to buy them, which we do have 24 days. So a considerable amount of time. And then of course the exact same thing here, 24 days before we get to do those, which means we're gonna have to grind a lot more now. Of course, Dream Store, we've been building up Odie like crazy. We've been building up Corinne a little bit, but overall, a lot of players have been talking about Coco. 
Um, Coco is one that I'm definitely going to have to check out because a lot of players said Entendre with Coco and Brutus um, are pretty broken. And then you put Smokey on top of that. And it's a pretty broken uh, combination. But again, I want to go in and I'm going to build out those copies of Odie. We're going to continue just building him out because again, primary damage, a majority of the players or of the heroes in here, um, or majority of the bosses in here do run Odie in a very, very successful manner. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.